Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're at the beautiful Black Point Marina located in South Dade and we're going to show you how to complete the Garmin Autopilot Sea Trial Wizard setup and calibration. We just received our new ECU controller from Garmin and we installed it on the boat yesterday. Before it can be used, it has to be calibrated to your heading sensor on your specific boat. When installing any electronics on your boat, we highly recommend that you use dielectric grease on all the connectors to help with saltwater corrosion. We use the CRC dielectric grease, which you can pick up at any local auto parts store. We've already completed the Dockside Wizard setup at the house. What this is, is a basic test once everything is connected where you take your keys and you move your rudder left and right. And what this does is it tells you that the ECU controller is communicating with the autopilot pump correctly. Now, before you can use your autopilot, you have to complete the sea trial wizard setup and calibration because what that does is it calibrates your heading sensor to your specific boat. Now we're gonna push off the dock we're going to get out of the channel and get into the bay and we're going to show you step by step how you could program and calibrate your heading sensor and autopilot setup. thing that you want to do when you come out when you're going to do this is make sure that you are away from all boat traffic right the autopilot is going to need to complete a set of maneuvers with the boat and you really want to be safe and not be around any other boat traffic we're out here in the uh, middle of Biscayne Bay now it's a weekday and there's there's really nobody else out here so the first step that you want to do is to go ahead and power on your autopilot controller when you power on your autopilot controller, it will automatically search and tell you to begin the sea trial wizard setup. Then you're gonna press begin. Then you're gonna put in the information on your boat. We've already had this in here from when we sea trialed it and we did it before, but you put in your planing speed, your maximum speed, and then you press done. And then now it tells you to turn the boat 1.5 times in either direction to calibrate the compass. Turn quickly, but keep the boat level and steady while turning. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna press begin. Now you can see on the screen that it tells you that it was a successful step. You press OK. Now you're going to go to the next step. Bring the engines to a constant RPM below planing speed and the autopilot will drive the boat in 15 zigzag cycles. Now we're going to go ahead and press begin.
can read that that was successful. We're going to hit OK. And then the next one is to bring the boat to a cruising speed at a constant heading with at least 45 seconds of hazard free water ahead of us. And that is the last step and now your unit is calibrated to your boat and ready for use. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Please give the video a like and smash that subscribe button and follow us for more of our content.